Hello everybody, Infected Zenon here, coming at you guys with a live duel with my Infernity XYZ deck. Everyone likes it when I play this deck, and um, so, when people want, we give them, right? I'm actually going to go on a vacation for about a week and a half now, so I'm just going to stock up on a bunch of Duel Network duels and deck profiles, and uh, I'll have them up on the upload scheduler, and you guys should be getting a new video. Hopefully I can get one for each day, but I don't know. Um, yeah, of course Oblivion comes and spectates us, and we open up crap. So we're gonna go ahead and open up, use Activate Rhoda. Just because I don't want to upstart Goblin into the Armageddon Knight, and then feel bad about ourselves. And, um, I'm just gonna activate for the effect. Might as well. Right? Might as well get effects when you can. No answer, I'm just gonna do it then. And then, we'll probably just hit the breakthrough skill and a uh, break or something as a bluff. Bluffs are good. Bluffs are good. So I hear Necromancer. So now it's pretty decent. So we'll set that and that and we'll pass our turn. Hopefully he's not playing anything too overpowered or open the good because we opened up pretty bad. And Heavy Storm always follows. Whenever you set more than two cards on the Wii Network, they program that their sixth card is Heavy Storm. Which sucks, but there's not much you could do about it. Sure. I was gonna write effect for him. <laughs> That's funny. Let's see. He's probably playing Infernities or something. Faggot. And I mean Juan. Um. Um. Okay. Mirror match. I called it. Oh, never mind. And then he opens up. They always. Whenever I play, freaking. In Zectors, they always open up so good against us. It's not even funny. Yeah, that's good. Now you stack the dragonfly on top and do your cookie cutter ass plays that they like to do. And hopefully we open up a way to dump Archfiend with my next draw. If not, we probably ended up losing. Which sucks, but not much I can do about that. Are you gonna stop the dragonfly on top or thinking or what yeah cookie cutter plays cookie cutter plays Ugh, dragon insectors are so boring I hate that deck so bad I don't know why I just don't like it ever since I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh it's been an awful deck for me but now we can Normal summon. And we're gonna grab the effect of this guy to get another barrier. Effect. Um let's get a barrier, just because I don't like barrier. I don't like it when they do stuffs on me. He attacks me, I have another break to suit. And there. We know what he draws, and we're actually ahead of him plus-wise, which is hilarious. And I'm actually going to have to break barrier his um, Lavavo Chain. Just because, okay, well, think about this. He's going to think I have no more barriers, so he's going to summon it, activate his effect, and then we're just going to barrier that as well. Negate and destroy, please, thank you. And now we're even field advantage-wise, but I have two answers guaranteed. Oh, God. Of course, um, boom, we're gonna have to stop that as well. Of course, they have all the perfect answers to fight back my answers, which is great. And now when he normal summons a dragonfly, we're gonna break that right away. We're not even gonna wait for him to do any plays, we're just gonna straight out bomb that. So now we have all the answers to everything, and he's probably getting pretty salty. But what can I do? Necromancer, really? Huh. Not sure I wanted that, so we're just gonna do that. Okay. Whatever. I'm not even going to summon this on the board just because he does anything. I can just summon this and go off again. And he's going to probably get into exactly what he needs, like a centipede or something. Or not. Now that. That's good. Some good stuff. But I'm not for now. Is he going to take it? Probably is. Okay, let's just gain the 1800. That's cool too. 
I, ha I love it when people gain it and then instead of like losing it, they uh, subtract it twice. <laughs> like they can't even do simple math. Okay, and I lost. And it's game. <laughs> Ugh, sure. Okay. He's gonna end up popping the necromancer. Just get senti effect. Just do it. Just search. Oh my goodness. I hate when people do this. I do have some pet peeves on doing network when people like do every little step by step like they think you're stupid or something. Like when they do bear effect, set that, and that's the OTK I believe, so I lost. Not sure, he has to have an MST for it or something, if I'm not mistaken. If he does, then it's game. What does that do? It's 800 attack, so it's 18. And that's 16. So not quite. We don't get OTK'd quite yet. But hopefully he doesn't have answers for anything. And just to make sure he doesn't. Let's do that. Perfect. Perfect. So summon... Effects. Give me a second. Okay, now let's think. Do we want to activate... This by discarding? No. Lol. And then special, special. Um, yeah. Launcher. Special, special effect of Archfiend. Um, let's add this to my hand. But now, what I needed to find out is okay, hold up. When this card, you can equip an the monster from your hand or a graveyard to this card. If you can equip to your graveyard or equip to this card, you can special summon one. Zector. Dun dun. Zector mods from your deck. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna normal summon this. Overlay this. Thor. Let's go black ship. Is that a good play? I don't even know. Wait. Wait, he searched the set caliber. He'll get another special summon, which I think I'd be okay with. Would I? Or we can go Master Key Beetle and do even better plays. So I think we're going to do that. Because we can just run over it. And this way we can run over two cards. Um, tar put a counter on him. Mancer. Get him. And then we'll go here. And we'll get the barrier. Our final barrier, but a barrier nonetheless. And hopefully we played that correctly. I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna do it. So we'll attack this. Because he's only at 1600, so he'll take 900. And, um, yeah. Take 900, please. 700, right? Well, you can destroy that and... S what? Okay, I didn't know you could do that, but, uh, whatever. We'll do that. Okay. So, now when he attempts to activate Dragonfly's effect, we can just barrier that. But I'm pretty sure he didn't know something. We're at a plus one field-wise. Sure. When you, yep. And I'm pretty sure he has a answer for that because I don't think he's that bad. Unless he was just trying to bait it out or something. Who knows? Does he have a light in here? He does not. He doesn't have anything. He probably has a gorge in his hand, which I'm not okay with. But am I really bad about it? No, actually, I'm okay with that. Here, let's try to do something. Mancer. Effects. And then special summon him, and I'll just say it's a normal summon, because it is normal. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to go ahead and hold up. So 23 plus 25 is 48. But if I let him drop Gores, we can tr run over one of the tokens easily with the uh, Master Key Beetle and just Diamond Dire Wolf. So yeah, I'm good at that. And we win. So I actually beat my bad matchup. Infernity's too good. Catch you guys later.